Welcome back to another video. Hope you are having a great day. And today with the KVM, which is different from what we have seen so far. And the hint is right over here. 144 hertz. Actually, if you take a look at the specifications, you will be able to see that it will go up to 165 hertz DSC 2.1. But I will leave that boring stuff on the description down below. Now, what's special about this KVM right over here? It's designed for gamers. Usually we are limited at 4K 60 Hertz, but right over here we are not. So if you have a gaming console or a gaming computer and you have other devices and you want to control all of them with one peripheral, one mouse, one keyboard, one display, this might be it. So let's go and take a closer look at it. And if you are watching this video on your Windows 10 or 11 computer and you still haven't activated and can't even edit your desktop icons, don't forget to check out cdksales.com where we can find budget official OEM keys at an affordable price. And with the coupon code that you can see on screen and down below on the video description, it will get even cheaper. And besides Windows 11 Pro, if you are looking for Windows 10 or even an Office suit that we can aggregate directly to our Microsoft account, you can use the same coupon code, which will give you the best price possible at this moment. So just in case, the link will be down below. So we can connect up to four devices, which is really, really cool. So I can connect a laptop, a PS5, a gaming computer, an Android TV box, or four computers with Linux, Mac OS, Windows, and whatever operating systems that we use. And we will connect to one single display, a TV or a monitor, which I will share with you in just a few moments. And we will be able to control all those machines machines with one keyboard, one mouse. So I can just cycle through connecting here on the buttons or using the remote control, which I will share with you as well. But we have seen a lot of KVMs and all of them more or less do the same. Better build quality, worse build quality, T-Smart, great build quality as usual. But the special thing here is that we are not limited at the usual 4K 60 Hertz. We will go up to 8K at 60 Hertz, which at this moment I don't use, but 4K at 165 Hertz DSC 2. Point one. It also supports 12-bit HDR10, Dolby Vision, NVIDIA G-Sync and AMD FreeSync. So it's geared towards gamers. But with this long intro, let's take a closer look at the unboxing experience. So inside the package, we will find the documentation, one remote control, four USB type A to USB type B cables, four HDMI cables, one power adapter. So basically all the accessories that we will need to have a plug and play experience. And of course, including the KV M, which is all made of aluminium as usual on T smart devices and it's really durable so even if it gets a few beats by those players that sometimes do not hit the mark that they are trying to get it will handle a lot of time. Now, jokes aside, it has one USB Type B input and one HDMI input for each of the four computers or consoles. Two USB 2.0 for the peripherals, like the mouse and keyboard, for example. One USB 3.0 if we want to connect a faster device, like an SSD or a USB pen drive. One HDMI output and a power input. At the front, we have one USB 3.0 and then we have four selection buttons to control the four computers, which I will share with you in just a few moments, and also a power on and off button. So how do we connect this KVM to four computers, one display, one keyboard, one mouse? It must be a mess, which is actually not. If you are used to KVMs, then this will be very easy. If we take a closer look once again and we see computer number one, we will have to plug in the USB that comes from computer number one and the HDMI cable that comes from computer number one. And that is it. I just need to repeat that process for all the other three computers. Now, in my particular case, for the easiness of use here on my setup, I did use three laptops and one desktop. I did connect two Windows laptops, one MacBook Pro with Mac OS and my Mac 
Studio. And that is it. Next, I just connected the keyboard and a mouse. Actually, my keyboard has a trackpad and I also connected my gamepad, which I did use to play Game Mode 2, just to exemplify. And that is it. I'm able to control four different devices and without any effort whatsoever, without less cables, although I didn't do any cable management. I just connected and put it under my desk. But that being said, let's go to my setup just to take a look on how easy it is to operate the T-Smart KVM. And now with the setup example, just so that we understand how easy it is to use this KVM, which will support up to four computers, which is what I've got right over here, and one single display up to 8K at 60 Hertz. And for those that play games, 4K at 144 Hertz, which is awesome. Now it's really easy to operate. We have these four buttons right over here. At this moment, I've got my Mac Studio connected, which is computer number four. But if I want to change to one of my other computers, actually this setup just for the easiness, I've got three laptops right over here, two Windows laptops, one MacBook Pro, and then the Mac Studio. Now, if I want to change to computer number one, and probably you can see better on this angle here, just need to press the number one, and there we go. It will take me to computer number one, which is the one in the bottom. And with one keyboard and one mouse, actually at this moment, I've got my gamepad connected because I was playing uh, games on the Mac Studio, which is not a gaming machine just to give you an example this gamepad will cycle through because it's connected via kvm so if i want to play a game here on windows i'm ready to do it and then if i cycle to mac studio i can use the same gamepad without having to disconnect anything and I, of course i can use the mouse and the keyboard so we are on computer number one we can see that by the led indication right over here which is on at this moment and then if i want to go to my computer number two just press the button number two and it will go and take me to the windows computer number two which is the n1 right of here one of the computers that i use on a daily basis i will try to leave a link down below just in case you want to check that out now i can work on this computer normally with the keyboard and with the mouse i can do whatever i want and there we go. If I want to change to my MacBook Pro, I just need to press the number three, which is my MacBook Pro right over here. And it will give me MacBook Pro with the M1 Pro and 16 gigabytes of RAM, a different wallpaper so that we can just differentiate from the Mac Studio. So now if I press number four, we will go to the Mac Studio right over here, which is my computer number four. We also have the on and off button, which at this moment I will not press. Now I'm using the gamepad connected here and I've got a keyboard and mouse at the back. But if I want, I can put a SSD or a thumb drive and it will cycle through the computer. So if I want to pass data from computer one to computer two, I don't need to connect and disconnect. I just need to have the USB pen drive or the SSD and that is it. There is other way to change between computers and that is with the remote control that comes included and has these buttons that we can see right over here. So at this moment I'm on computer number four but if I press number one for example it will change to computer number one that we have seen which is our Windows computer. Now if I press number three it will take me to my Mac which is computer number three and we can always see right over here the LED indication right now if I want to go to computer number two I will go to computer number two and basically this is the way that it works so if it happens that I'm a bit further away from the KVM instead of pressing the button I can just connect and this is usual if I want to have an Android TV box for example on my four computers one of them can be an entertainment device and if i want i have connected to a big screen i can just lay down press the computer change to number whatever i want and instead of having a computer i do have my entertainment box which i can control at a distance and like this might be easier than having to press the button but to operate the kvm is easy as we just saw right over here pressing the buttons at the front or on the remote control and easy as this. So we just need to open the package and then plug in the KVM to the computers, to one single display, to our keyboard, to our mouse. And that is it, plug and play. We will be able to control either with these buttons or 
with the remote control if you are on your couch or something like that you want to change to your android tv works your apple tv whatever you want to connect it also has vrr which is a variable refresh rate and i didn't mention that but i'm sure that you already checked down below on the video description for the specifications so if you are looking for something that will not limit you on your gaming device either a computer or a console that goes above 60 hertz which is the usual of the kvms then this is one of the possible solutions and probably the best solution at this moment to control up to four devices and one display and one peripheral and what we already have seen that being said hope that the video was helpful in some way and if it was don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen my name is roberto george and as always i'll see you on the next one